Now to reopening South Florida. It's the first weekend of relaxed restrictions and a lot of people took advantage. A whole lot of people. We saw long lines of boaters heading out to the water. Local 10's Liam Odehon, she's live in Key Biscayne with this story. That's right, county officials in both Miami-Dade and Broward County said they wanted to open up their public spaces. This is now the first weekend that people can actually enjoy those places. You know, some cities within both of those counties have said they're not ready yet, but as far as county-run places, they're open and people are taking advantage. Car after car lined up along Crandon Boulevard, waiting hours to get into Crandon Park Marina Saturday morning. On the first weekend since officials in Miami-Dade and Broward counties reopened certain open spaces and marinas. About two hours. To get in here? Yes. The rush of boaters prompted officials to close the marina shortly after opening once they met capacity. Eric Vargas says out on the water was a different story. Less boats out, um, a lot of enforcement, but for the most part, it, you know, there wasn't too many boats out. It was a good time. A similar scene also this morning at Black Point Marina, as well as on Friday. The long line of cars waiting to get inside was so long, it stretched back for nearly a mile. I haven't gone out in a couple months since this thing started. Boaters also have to follow new social distancing rules, which include limiting each boat to only 10 people or less and only allowing one boat at a time to launch at a ramp. I mean, it's for everybody's safety, so it doesn't bother me at all. But while some waterways are back open, not everything else is, and not every city is on board. Miami-Dade Mayor Carlos Jimenez says he's working with groups representing certain businesses deemed non-essential to figure out how to reopen safely. There is light at the end of this COVID tunnel. It will mean working differently, and that's why this is a new normal. Police were also here enforcing those social distancing rules, those masks that everyone needs to wear. If you're not doing that, police are going to let you know about it. By the way, I heard tomorrow is going to be another beautiful day, so you can expect similar scenes on Sunday morning. Reporting live here outside Crandon Park Marina, I'm Leanne Morejon, Local 10 News.